Hey, welcome to the Uzumaki Garage. In this episode, I'll be restoring the front brakes of an Evo 6.5 Tommy Mackinnon edition. Today I'm starting the restoration of these Brembo brakes, which are from a Mitsubishi Evo. Firstly, I'm using a drift to tap out the pins to release the old brake pads. Pop off the bleeder dust caps. Remove the bleeders using a flare nut wrench. It's 11 mm I'm degreasing the calipers before blasting so the old brake grease doesn't contaminate the blasting media. And I'm going to wash them off with hot water. Blowing them dry. Some of the clear coat is coming off with just compressed air, so this restoration is long overdue. Putting the caliper into the sandblasting booth. Turning on the air at around 90 psi. I tried soda blasting first, but had to resort to garnet media blasting to remove the old paint. I'm replacing all the seals with new ones from a Mitsubishi service kit. The caliper holds four pistons, but they're not all the same size. The service kit includes four piston seals and four dust seals of the appropriate size for each piston. The kit also includes assembly fluid, which must be used on the pistons, caliper bores and seals during assembly. Inserting the small piston seals into the small bores in the calipers, lubricated with assembly fluid. Next I'm installing the small dust seals on the small pistons, again using assembly fluid. I'm carefully lining up the small piston parallel to the caliper bore, gently sliding it down into place. It's going in quite easily when it's perfectly lined up. And now I'm pressing the small dust seal into its groove in the caliper. Then I'm repeating that whole procedure for the large piston. Then I'll repeat for the remaining pistons and seals on the other side of the caliper. After washing and drying the calipers, I rub them down with red scotch sprite, then I clean them with isopropyl alcohol, masked up the new seals and hung them up in the paint booth. I'm priming with two coats of Transtar 2-in-1 Red Oxide Primer. It's sort of a reddish colour, which will help with the coverage of the red 2K top coat. After the primer has dried thoroughly, they were scuffed down with scotch sprite. After downloading the technical sheet for the 2K paint, I mixed it up with the recommended hardener and reducer. I strained it into the Devilbus GTI Pro light gun and checked the technical sheet for the recommended spraying air pressure. The calipers came out really nice. It's been a week since they were painted as I wanted them to dry thoroughly before handling them. Next I trimmed off the paint from the mounting surfaces with a razor blade. I reinstalled them onto the car with all new bolts, clips, pins, pads, rotors and hoses. After the paint has gassed out for over a week, I'm applying the new Brembo decals. Another option is to give the red paint a light sand, apply the stickers and spray on a coat of clear caliper paint. Well 
Well, that turned out really well. If you got anything out of it, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click that little notification bell and it'll let you know when the next episode comes out. Thanks for watching.